The New York Giants just got great news from the NFL. We're going to break that down on today's show, but first, subscribe to the channel. We are in a sub battle with Texans today, another NFL channel here at Chat Sports. And as the Giants are taking on the Texans in week two of the preseason, I don't just want to beat them on the football field. I want to beat them in subscribers picked up this week. So if you love the Giants and you're looking for a one-stop shop on YouTube, smash that sub button. You're watching Giants Now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green. Appreciate everybody for stopping by. As we react to a storyline that is starting to heat up in the National Football League, the NFL has been talking at every level. Roger Goodell, people in the NFLPA department, and even players like Joe Burrow about an 18th game being added to the schedule and the major ramifications that could have to the salary cap, which would be monumental for the New York Giants as they try to continue to build this roster and get in a spot where they could compete in the NFC East. Lloyd Howe works for the NFL, NFL PA executive. He said this, quote, we have talked at a very, very, very high level superficially with a recognition about, yeah, this is something that we should be talking about. And we should really kick the tires and understand what else goes into that decision-making process. It's not just the NFL, though. Washington Post came out with this tweet a couple of weeks ago. I hadn't gotten a chance to talk about it. I thought today would be a good point with the Week 1 preseason game behind us as we are in the week. And the NFL Players Association has engaged in high-level discussions with the NFL about the potential implementation of an 18-game regular season, the NFLPA's executive director said. Roger Goodell has also talked about it. He is actually campaigning for an 18-game schedule. This was a headline from NFL.com a couple of months ago saying Roger Goodell addresses potential 18-game schedule, private equity, and ownership at spring league meetings. Joe Burrow, one of the faces of the National Football League, one of the best quarterbacks in this league, he was asked about it, and he kind of thought people thought he fixed it. Did Joe Burrow fix football? Bengals quarterback reveals simple but perfect 18-game NFL scheduling solution. Joe Burrow supports an 18-game season, and that's what I think is probably going to be the biggest, I would say, stoppage in this getting there is it's got to be collectively bargained. The NFL PA and the NFL are going to have to come to an agreement, and a lot of people for a long time have thought that players don't want to play 17 games. Now they do. Now it's players don't want to play 18 games because of the wear and their tear on their bodies. They don't want to shorten their career. But what it could actually mean for them is less seasons, but more money overall. And I think everybody's always okay with adding a little extra cash to their bank account. Lloyd Howe again saying this. The simple fact of the matter is when you have a growing enterprise and there are opportunities within that intervening period of time where progress could be made and you could tweak the existing CBA legal document, why wouldn't you want to do that? I call it bargaining. I call it amendments. I call it updates to what is now a living document called a CBA. Yeah, I want to be able to have our membership in a position to jump on it when we can, not wait until their playing days are done. And it's like you go through the cycle all over again. If I had to make a bet on when I think the NFL expands their season up to 18 games, one, I think it's going to happen. I feel pretty confident that it does because it means more money for everybody. And I've learned as my 29-year-old self, watching the NFL for a long time, they are always about money, especially Roger Goodell, as he should be. But I bet by 2027 at the latest is when we would have 18 games in a New York Giants season. So you might be asking, why is this good news for the New York Giants. And I have three major reasons as to why another game tacked onto this season would help the Giants and put them in a spot to better equip this roster to not just compete in the NFC East, but potentially get back to being a Super Bowl contender. Number one, more games equals more money. And with more games and more money, that means a bigger salary cap. And when you have more money to spend, 
you can add more big-time players. Like, remember in Hard Knocks when Joe Shane said our salary cap expectations going into the 2024 offseason were actually 15 to $17 million lower than the initial number came in? Then they saw the new number, and they said, maybe we can go out and make a big-time swing for a player. They talked Christian Wilkins. Then they went out and gave Brian Burns $150 million. More money equals more flexibility to swing big. And I think everybody would agree when you look at the Giants roster, they have some pretty good players. They are a team that I would say is not very deep. So they could become a deeper team while also adding more top end players at premium positions because those guys, they cost a lot of money, especially if you're going to sign them in free agency or make a trade for them. Whether the league adds an 18th game or not, though, the salary cap is going to continue every single year to get bigger and bigger. I mean, look back since 2020. In 2020, the salary cap increased by 5.3%. The only year it did not have a major increase was 2021 because there was a global pandemic that happened. But it actually auto-corrected itself by doubling up from 7.9 to 14% increase in 2022, then a near 8% increase in 2023, then one of the bigger increases the NFL has seen, 13.6% in 2024, that's why the Giants were able to go out and make a big-time move and give Brian Burns $150 million. An 18th game could potentially add another 15 to $20 million extra to the salary cap, which would be huge for the New York Giants and potentially the decision that they may have to make on Daniel Jones or whoever that quarterback may be in the near future. We're going to talk about that around the corner, but first, I got to give a major shout out to today's sponsor, Game Time. If you're looking to buy tickets to a sporting event, a concert, theater event, something along those lines, do with our proud sponsor, Game Time. They make sure that their customers get the best seats for the lowest prices guaranteed. And as someone that has used every single ticketing app out there, none of them have been as user friendly as game time and I don't use any other ones because of how awesome game time is you get the best seat for the lowest price guaranteed prices actually drop as the events get closer so if you don't want to have to buy tickets two months three months four months in advance and you want to wait until game week game time will make sure that they hook it up for you I also love the all-in pricing feature when looking for tickets that way the price that you see is the price that you pay I just love everything about it they take care of their customers and that is something that i can always get behind shout out to game time for sponsoring today's show and be a real one and support them download the game time app create an account and use the promo code chat sports that's c-h-a-t-s-p-o-r-t-s you see it at the bottom of your screen and you're gonna get 20 dollars off your first purchase where terms do apply i was able to go to the grateful dead concert Last summer, I got to go to the Home Run Derby with some last-minute tickets. I went to a Knicks and Mavericks game, and I'm going to continue to buy my tickets from game time because they take care of me. Shout-out to them. Download the app, create an account, and use that promo code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. As we all know, the Giants are in a spot where it is really a question mark at the quarterback position going into the future. Yes, Daniel Jones is going to be your quarterback this year, and he is under contract for next year, but there will have to be a decision made. If they cut him, they save $20 million. If they don't, he's on the books for north of $45 million. So adding a potential another $15 to $20 million to the salary cap makes it much more easy, and it gives you the ability to absorb and, absorb and build around a high-paid quarterback. Two thoughts on this. If Daniel Jones's contract if Daniel Jones plays well, excuse me, his contract could potentially, if this happens, which we expect, won't hurt the salary cap health of the New York Giants as much. Right now, he has the fifth highest cap hit in the NFL. And I think even the biggest Daniel Jones fans out there would agree that he is not the fifth best NFL player. So you could still have a really high-paid quarterback and you could still go out and add other high-paid, skilled, talented players around him. On the flip side, if Daniel Jones needs to be cut after this season or the following season or the Giants want to go out and sign Dak Prescott in free agency, Giants want to go out and make a trade for another high-profile quarterback that makes, makes a lot of money, it makes it much more easy because right now, just for easy, simple numbers, let's say that, which we don't, I don't really expect it to happen after this year, let's say we go to 18 games, right? 
after this season, and that means the 25-26 season is 18 games. In the 2025 offseason, the Giants are only expected to have $20 million in salary cap space. But if you cut Daniel Jones, that gives you 20 more. So you're up to 40. Then what if you get another 20, 25 million because of the 18th game, you're up to $65 million in cap space, and you can both go be aggressive via trade or free agency to go out and add a legitimate quarterback that can help this team become respectable once again. Lastly, it's easier to cut bad contracts. It's easier to move on. And with more money, you just have more resources and you're able to make more moves to help this team. Maybe the Giants want to cut Evan Neal after this season because they're just done with it. His dead cap hit doesn't hurt you as much. For any player the Giants want to move on from, or maybe it gives Joe Shane a little bit more motivation to make a risky move. That way he knows he's not going to get burned as bad on the back end because that player gets hurt or whatever reason happens, which makes it an unfortunate move at the time. The bottom line is this. Joe Shane and Brian Dable could enter this upcoming offseason with their jobs on the line and they might need to make big moves, and they might want to push the money on those big contracts into the future, knowing and backloading those contracts like the Philadelphia Eagles always do because they know the cap is going to steadily increase and it could see a major spike when an 18th game is added to this schedule. The Giants need to add more elite players to compete at the highest level. I'm a diehard Giants fan. If you're watching this video, you're a diehard Giants fan. And I think we can all agree, if the Giants are going to add the fifth Super Bowl to the case, they got to add more elite talent to offense and defense. And when you have more cash in your pocket, it makes it a hell of a lot easier. My question to you is this. Do you want an 18-game regular season? As a fan, yeah, it gives me another opportunity to go out and watch my team. And I'm always cool with watching another game of the Giants unless it's not 40 to nothing like it was last year in week one against the Cowboys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. This is what I would do. If I was Roger Goodell, one, the NFL would be thriving even more than it was, but I would trim the NFL preseason to at most two games. I really think you only need one game. And I would also almost make joint practices mandatory. You don't have to do that for the Giants because Brian Dable believes in it. But I would trim the preseason to two games, maybe even one, and then I would go to an 18-game regular season schedule with two bye weeks. So it really becomes a 19, or that would make it a 20-week season because it would be 19 if you play 18, a 20-week season, more weeks of NFL football, more Sundays hanging out with the real ones, and more money for my football team. That damn good players, because I want to get back to looking at the Giants as a Super Bowl contender, and I think they have a long way to go. Make sure you are following me over on social media. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. If you want to continue the conversation about this, I'd be more than happy to. So hit me up at Marshall Green underscore.